What's going on, Plan Army? Jacob here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to replace and change color in Adobe Photoshop CS6. Okay, so this is a picture that I downloaded off Google. Um, the download description will be in the, or sorry, the download link will be in the description box, and it's just this orange car with a nice isolated background that'll make this easy. This is still very doable in things that have complex backgrounds, but I just wanted to simplify it for the um, sake of the tutorial. All right, so what I'll show, what I'll be showing you how to do is how to make something like this. I've changed almost all of the colors. Actually, I have changed all of the colors of this car. Added pink wheels, a blue bumper, teal hood, orange um, mirrors, and this can be applied in almost anything. It can be used to change people's hair color, the color of I don't know, like a bird, uh, someone's skin, lips, a shirt. It can be used for anything. But I'm just going to use a car because it's really simple and it's a good example. Alright, so let's get right into this. Uh, what you're first going to want to do is set up your base color change. You're going to click on your image and go to Image, Adjustments, Replace Color. Now click something, click a color on your car that pretty much represents your entire car. I've selected something around here and what you want to do is drag this bar fuzziness so that the entire car is white but the background is not. So this is good, and go down here to result, and I'm going to ch to change this into something like a cool, cool little green like this, and that looks pretty nice. We'll hit OK. But as you can see, there's little orange shadings around this car. So what I'm going to do to fix that is this. I'm going to grab this magnetic lasso tool, which you can find in the lasso tool. This uh, little drop-down menu. Go to magnetic lasso, and all you have to do is click and drag this and it'll stick to the bumper right here it follows your object so just trace your bumper like this and close it off it does not have to be perfect because we'll refine it later and then create a new group layer right here and then add this mask that you have selected so now you're good just go down here and add a black and white filter and you can see this is all black and white now and then add a hue and saturation layer click colorize and you can see your bumpers changing colors say you want a cool, I don't know a nice blue bumper change the saturation, make it more saturated maybe change the lightness a little bit and I'm thinking that looks pretty good so now you can see that there's still little traces of green over here and I don't want that. So click on this group right here where the mask is. Take out your brush tool. You can hit B to get there fast. And down here you'll see your foreground and background colors. White will be your foreground by default and black is your background. If you have your foreground selected, which you can change the background and foreground by hitting X. If you have your foreground selected, which is white for me, you can add to this mask by just dragging your brush tool over what you want to be included in the mask. So this way you can easily refine your mask and make the entire bumper blue without leaving any traces of green or orange. So I'll just go ahead and do that nice and quick. And there we go. We have a nice, actually, I'll just go down here, get this. All right, there. Now you can see here that there's a little too much blue here that is actually on the ground and not on the bumper. To get rid of that, you'll go to your brush tool and hit X so that your background is down here, your background. And then you can drag your brush tool and that takes away from the mask and now you can see that is gone. And now I have a nice blue looking bumper. So that's how you change color basically. But um, if you want to go further and change more colors, you can also use um, the magnetic tool to do more stuff and I'll show you how to do that. And another way that you can do this is to grab the quick selection tool and drag this around and like select this wheel. But I found that the quick selection tool isn't quite as good and it ends up being very rough and doesn't get a very good selection. So if you already use this, I'm just going to hit Control D to get rid of that selection. And I'm going to use the magnetic lasso tool. So I'm just going to trace around this wheel. Like so. And seal off that. Just like before create a new group, add this mask, and then add a black and white filter, and then add a hue and saturation filter. 
click colorize, you can see that your wheel is changing color. Say I want these wheels to be hot pink. I don't know why. We'll just choose it. Uh, change it like that. I think that's a pretty cool color. And now you can see this little um, like hubcap on the wheel. I don't want that to be pink. Not all of these bolts and stuff will be pink. Just the actual um, wheel, not the center of it. So I'm going to hit B, have my background selected. I'll make my size of my brush a little bit bigger. And I'll get rid of the pink in the middle, get rid of this stuff in the mask. So now, if you zoom out, you can see that looks like a really nice pink wheel. And if you need to, you can refine the edges of this with the um, brush tool as well by doing this. But I'll just move on to the next, uh, the next wheel. We'll just go select this really quick. And there we go. And we'll create another group, just like before. Add the mask, add a black and white fil filter, and add a hue and saturation filter. Click colorize to add the color, and I will make this one hot pink as well. Just lower the lightness to create a nice effect. And that looks pretty nice. So I'll just go through here again, lower the size of my brush. Oh, wrong one. Hit X. I got rid of that, and now a bit on the side here. This quite wasn't. This wasn't really quite included, so I'll hit X and include this. Or, oh, you need to be clicking on the um, the mask. I'm sorry. Click on this mask, and you can add more. All right, so I'm thinking that looks pretty nice. You can already see. I'll just merge all of these layers. Actually, yeah. I'll just go ahead and merge all of these to make it simpler. Merge layers. Oops, not that. Okay, so um, there you go. You have pink wheels, blue bumper. Now I want to change these headlights. So I have to click on this, the original. Grab this with that magnetic lasso tool. Create a new group. Add the mask. Add black and white. Add hue and saturation, click colorize, and I want these to be orange. Now I have cool orange headlights, except I, I'll have to fix that one later too. So just go in, click on the mask, hit B, and add whatever you want to be added into your headlight. Oh, that's a little too much. Alright, so it looks pretty nice. Now the last thing I'll show you how to do is to add um, this uh, hood, change the color a bit. So just grab the, mag the magnetic lasso tool again and trace this. It'll grab it pretty well, but we'll be able to fix it at the end where it messes up. See, it did right there. Drag it up here and finish it off. Again, create another group, mask, black and white and then hue and saturation, colorize, boom. Want this to be a cool teal color. Crank up the saturation, it makes it look cool. And then we'll um, go down here, zoom in. And you can see there's a little bit extra teal here that we don't want because we only want it on the hood. So we'll hit X to get my background down here and we'll just get rid of this. Okay. As you can see, there's a little bit of black down here because um, I already made that black there, but we can fix that if you need to. But um, I'm not going to just because we don't really need to right now. Oh, sorry. I know why it's doing that. We'll just go back, and you need to get your mask selected, actually. Sorry about that. And then you can go through, and it won't make it black and white here. It'll just make the mask get cut away. So I'll just zoom in over here now. And this selected way too much. Only want it on the hood. And there we go. We have that nice looking. And now I'll just finish off this headlight and make it orange like the last one. Like this. Create another group. Mask. Black and white. Hue and saturation colorize and orange crank up that 
that's looking nice we'll just go down here click on the mask hit B and we'll lower the size of our brush down to something really small so we can easily manipulate this mask and there we go another orange headlight and um, here I'll just open up the original real quick the orange car to show you the big contrast between the old one and the new one if it'll open okay so here we go we have our new car and the old car I'll just drag this in here to make this easier to compare drop it on here put it way down here I'm gonna go ahead and merge all of these layers up to here right click merge layers get rid of this old setup I had and now let's see original have to move it into the center and there we go we have the original and the new so uh, thanks for watching this tutorial on how to change color in Adobe Photoshop and I'll see you next time.